Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's talk about anger, anger issues. I've talked about this before in a couple different angles, but I want to talk about it from a different point of view. I want to talk about volatility, being really volatile, that type of anger, where you just explode. <laughs> I've been like this. I have had so many anger issues my whole life, and I've definitely had that snap factor where I could be real calm just like this and then BAM just like a light switch I could just turn into a whole other person be real angry about something and everybody all of a sudden is real confused what the fuck's going on but not me I mean my mind is working fast and people gotta catch up it's been a problem my volatility has gotten me into trouble I've held people at gunpoint unnecessarily, gun down their throat, just because I'm all pissed off now. Let's talk about volatility and how to, how to cure it, how to be less volatile, how to be more in control of ourselves. As a philosophy, if you're looking just to read about this type of stuff, how to be in control of your anger, look into Stoicism. Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, there's lots of famous old Stoics. I like Marcus Aurelius the best. One thing when we get really angry and we have episodes, fits of anger, tantrums. A lot of adults have tantrums. And we don't call them tantrums, temper tantrums as adults. We, we, res we reserve that word for little kids, but there's lots of adults that blow up. I have lots of friends that they let themselves go crazy. And maybe not in front of me. It might happen in front of their teenage boys when they argue. It may happen in front of their wife when they argue or, you know, whatever. But one, one aspect of this is physical. And we have to always be checking ourselves like our diagnostics with our vehicle. You know, and it's funny how people will take care of their motorcycles with such intense care. They, they, people, I know guys that keep their bikes running perfect. Perfect. There's nothing wrong with that old bike. They'll have an 81 Harley, runs perfect. <laughs> and they'll brag about it. I ride this bitch to Alaska right now. Meanwhile, they have a whole list of health problems that they're avoiding, that they're letting go on, that, that they try to just not pay attention to. These chronic pains and back pains and ankle pains and joint pains and toothaches and you know the ones, the, the constant headache that you have all the, all the time that never goes away, that you've just figured, oh well. Whatever it is for you, people live with this. And when we have these fits of anger, when we're volatile, when we're just volatile people, we explode. I, I mean, I've been this way. That's why I'm talking about it. The, one of the first things we want to check is, are we a wounded animal? Do we have some sort of obvious or not so obvious health issue that could be contributing to it? When, when you see a wounded animal, a wounded dog, especially if you see a stray dog and it's wounded and you're trying to rescue it. You ever seen some of these rescue shows or rescue videos? Uh, uh, rescuing a, a stray dog may be hard enough, particularly if it's been abused, but if it's, if it's wounded, approaching it can be really difficult. You have to be really careful because not only are they hurt so they're trembling and they're trying to protect whatever injury they have but as close as you get they're going to lash out at you in that protective mode we can walk around like this with bowel constructions stomach problems all kinds of stuff that we're just walking around with all the time can make you just a real pissy motherfucker turn you into a real bitch why are you so bitchy? This is why. And I know what this is like. I've walked around with chronic pain and it just made me kind of a jerk and just real negative. I wasn't my happy-go-lucky self. 
So, I mean, I'm all, I was already walking that edge. Something happens and bam, you just explode. Another one that you want to check, which is body wise, check, you know, we're going mind, body, and soul. You want to check is your diet. You want to check your diet in two ways. You may be starving for nutrition meaning that you're not getting the right amount of proteins or macronutrients, proteins and fats, fibers, carbohydrates. Know what is a good protein as opposed to a bad protein. Lean meat as opposed to fatty meat. You know, uh, good carbs as opposed to bad carbs. For example, uh, baked potatoes, if you eat those three times a day, if you eat potatoes three times a day, you're driving your uh, sugar, your, your blood sugar up. And you're just getting fatter and fatter and fatter. Switch them out to uh, sweet potatoes. That's a healthy potato. Switch out your white rice to brown rice or wild rice, like a, a long grain wild rice. So there's things that, you know, your, your white bread for wheat bread, little things like that. The reason why I talk about it is in the relation to anger and to being volatile is that many times, as animals, never forget we're animals. An animal who is starving is also going to be very volatile. Just like the wounded animal to be starving, starving for nutrition. Your brain is an organic computer that runs on like chemicals and turns that into electrical currents. You know, you have, that's what your, your food that you eat is all chemicals. You have to eat the right stuff. It, it sounds silly, but when you're angry, think about what have I eaten today? Have I eaten a bunch of McDonald's and a bunch of Taco Bell and bullshit today? And not had any, had any real good food, no good fruits and vegetables, lean, good quality uh, meats and proteins and you know healthy stuff. If I just eaten junk this whole week, no wonder I'm just kind of snappy. I'm having a hard time getting over an issue. I'm just generally angry. I, I lashed out at somebody. I, I've been eating like I've been putting awful drugs into my system constantly. Take bad drugs. I used to be a dopehead. Take bad drugs. See what happens when you take bad drugs. The food's no different. And just very quickly before I move on, the next time you get angry, even if it's not such a volatile rage, the next time you're angry, even annoyed, think about, you know, Maybe I could have a snack, peanut butter uh, sandwich, something, and, and make it protein. Because we're, we're animals, we're, we're predators, and you need protein. And when you have protein in you, you can relax and get out of your survival fight or flight mode. Daily exercise is another thing that you need. Yeah, as, as just natural creatures, we need daily exercise. Your dog needs to be walked, and so do you. Go walk yourself. Go work out. Get out some of that aggression. Video games aren't enough. People say, well, I get out my aggression in video games. Fuck that shit. Go get some weights and take your aggression out on those weights. You'll suffer a little bit. Go lift some 100-pound weights and feel like a fucking man. Feel strong. Feel like a dominant alpha. The flared nostrils as you throw them weights down on your last set. You're like, God damn it. That's a good way to fucking get rid of some anger that, you know, that you're holding on to. Daily discipline, just in general. If you're having volatile episodes, temper tantrums, you're, you're, you're angry a lot. Get on a solid sleep and wake schedule. Wake up at the same time every day. Even on the days off, you could just have a day off and relax, but wake up. Don't, don't fuck with your sleep schedule and go to bed at a, at a reasonable time. There's nothing that's too important that you have to stay up for. I don't care what your business is in the stock market or whatever you're doing. Go to bed at a good time. Lock yourself down. That's it. No more food. I'm going to bed. Lockdown, motherfucker. Lockdown. Another thing which is a little bit abstract, and I hope people understand this, but when we're talking about anger and volatility issues, being really explosive, overly emotional, not being able to control our minds, that's really what that is. You want to educate yourself. 
educate, read, learn, watch videos, learn every single day, every day. Just become interested in topics, pick a topic. What do you like? You know, history, science, there's all kinds of topics. Learn shit, just be into it as a hobby. Just learn stuff. Have a passion for some topic, whatever it is, and learn about it all the time. Learn about different things. Not only does it give you stuff to talk about so you're not boring, but you evolve, your brain evolves. You get to a higher level of vibration as a creature. And you do this because you'll start to control your emotions and you'll be thankful when you get to your deathbed that you educated yourself your whole life because a lot of dumb motherfuckers are scared of what's next. And a lot of real strong warriors, they're not scared of it at all because they've thought about it. The last thing I want to talk about is kind of obvious, I think. If you're drinking heavily, if you're doing chemical drugs, if you're taking pills and doing cocaine and things like that, I'm going to exclude weed because usually when people smoke weed, they don't have anger issues. It's a way to calm down, not to get angry. I don't know a lot of people that smoke weed and then get explosively angry afterwards. If you do, stop smoking that weed. But stop chasing vice. You're having anger issues and you're still getting drunk. You think there's an issue there? You think there's a relationship there? Oh no, you can handle it. You gotta really sit there and look at yourself in the mirror and why do I drink so much? Why do I need these drugs? Do I need it? Could, could I stop? Who's in control? Is it the drug or me? You really gotta get on top of your addiction. That's a major sign of weakness. There's no warriors that are addicted to shit. I don't want no warriors on my team when, shit, when the shit hits the fan, when it's, all, when it's time to rock and roll, when the, you know what I'm talking about, and we might be there. Shit's getting weird in our world. I don't want nobody on my team who's got a clouded mind, who's weak little wimp who needs to hide from fucking pain. We go through pain, because on the other side of that pain is the fucking rewards is success, is our greatness. I don't know, it's all food for thought. Get on top of your anger, it will destroy you.